I'm very excited. This is our anniversary. We've been doing YouTube videos for one year, which is great. Uh, we're in my office where sometimes I meet with people and talk with them about all sorts of stuff. So I'd like to talk with you about probably the biggest problem in our culture and in health that you can actually do something about yourself. Diabetes, blood sugar, and multivitamins and how that all works. So what can you do about having funny blood sugar? Well, don't eat sugar. That's pretty simple. I think I say that almost every time I'm on video. Don't eat sugar, it's not good for you. Reduce your sugar use. If you have genetics for diabetes, sometimes just a virus can set it off. There's not a lot you can do about that. Well, what can you do? Well, sure, diet, less sugar. Our whole world is soaked. Everywhere you go, any convenience food is gonna have sugar in it and processed carbohydrates. There's gonna be wheat and there's gonna be probably some dairy and there's probably gonna be some sugar, all of which negatively affect your blood sugar response. What can you do? Oh my gosh, what are you gonna do? Multivitamins, huge news this is October um, on the benefit of multivitamins in cancer and heart disease, now diabetes. What we know from new studies is that a simple multivitamin, not even an expensive high dose one, but just a real simple multivitamin can change the way that your body processes sugar so that the way that your body makes insulin and the way that your cells respond is affected by vitamins, B-complex vitamins specifically, B6, even more specifically, at 100 milligrams, and biotin. Biotin also makes your hair grow. It does all sorts of good things for your eyes, but it definitely affects diabetes. What other vitamins? Vitamin C. How much should you take? Well, the register or the recommended dietary allowance is about 60 milligrams. That's about 20 times too low, in my opinion. A gram or two a day. 1,000 milligrams to 2,000 milligrams a day would make sense. Vitamin E. How much should you take? Somewhere between 400 and 1,000 a day. Um, vitamin E, it should be a mixed to cough roll. It should be a healthy form of vitamin E. Don't use the succinate or the cheap form. It just doesn't work as well. Um, so what does vitamin E, vitamin C, B vitamins do? They're antioxidants, and in many ways they reduce the irritation that's caused by high blood sugar. If you've ever made uh, caramel or cooked sugar, you see it makes a goopy mess. High blood sugar does that to your proteins. It makes them a goopy mess. So in your eyes and your heart and everywhere else, you have a goopy mess of proteins from a high blood sugar. That creates all sorts of cardiovascular problems. It causes blindness, it causes kidney disease bad news. If we can turn off that goopy mess cycle by giving them some multivitamins, that's a simple thing to do. Everybody can take a multivitamin. One single pill a day can often be enough. Um, and then specific nutrients, chromium, which uh, is deficient in most people's diet, vanadium, which is also deficient in most people's diets. Um, these cause the insulin sensitivity of every cell to be higher. So when your pancreas makes insulin, in non-diabetics, then it'll work better. And then in people who are diabetic, the insulin they take will work better. You always want a little magnesium and potassium because they get depleted in diabetes or even in diabetes treatment. So something to keep in mind. Anybody who's got a blood sugar problem has got to work with somebody in the health professions, nutritionist, dietitian, um, physician, somebody who really knows and is involved to manage, monitor, and treat these problems professionally. All the nutrients in the world are great. A really great professional who can work with you really makes it better. And like we say, anniversary time, we're better together.